The Iconesis Focus Stacking plugin is used with our Shutterstream product photography software and Shutterstream 360 product photography software for creating focus stacked images in seconds. First, we enable the live view. This will stream a real time preview of what our camera sees. While in live view mode, users have full control over their camera settings, and if their camera has exposure simulation, they'll see those settings in real time. First, let's capture an image without focus stacking. We hit the snap button that will instantly upload the result. As we can see, if viewing this at one to one, the object is severely out of focus in the back and has a very shallow focal depth. So in this case, we'll want to use our focus stacking tool. We'll re-enable our live view. We'll right click on the snap button and click image capture with focus stacking. Next, what we want to do here is go ahead and we hit the snap button. What this is going to do is allow us to choose our focal points for near and far select the number of frames that we wish to stack and then we hit start and that will automate the process. So let's get started. First we can see this little blinking white dot. That is our one-to-one -one viewfinder. Let's adjust the location of that and we'll choose our front focal point by zooming in. Here we can adjust our lens driving it using the focal point arrow adjustment and as we can see as we make those changes we can actually see the result in real time. It looks pretty in focus for the first point, so we're going to choose that as our focal point one. Now what we want to do is choose our second focal point. That will be at the back of the subject. So what we can do is use these arrows, again, the right side to drive the lens further back. Again, if we wish to view that at one to one, we can choose our one to one viewer, click zoom, and we can start to see the actual back of the subject here. Now it looks like it's pretty well in focus. We might drive the lens a little bit further looks pretty good right there. Next we're going to choose our number of frames. We can also start to adjust some settings, the rendering method as well as the radius and smoothing. Once we're ready to go, we'll zoom on our camera and we'll hit our start focus stacking button. This will automate the process. We've now completed our eight image capture and the software will automatically build the final image stacking all eight images on top of each other at the different focal depth. Now we can see our final output again viewing it one to one we can see that we've captured this in focus from front to back. Comparing this with our previous image we can see we have a much greater focal depth again through the use of focus stacking. This process is also automated in 360 product photography when using an Iconesis turntable. From here, users can go ahead and use some of the editing tools inside of the Shutterstream software to automate background removal, image enhancement, and getting images ready for their web or print requirements. What we're going to do here is choose a the magic wand tool. We're going to select the magic wand color, and simply from here we're going to hit apply and that will automatically remove the background from the subject onto a transparent layer. From here we can go ahead and save our images or multiple images out as required. Thank you.